Welcome back. You've joined us on a uh, joint Hog Auckland and Waikato Chapters group ride. Um, we're partway through it at the moment, departing at this point where we pick up the video uh, from Fungamata Wharf. And we're going to ride through Fungamata Township itself and then head on through to Waihi Beach RSA, travelling mostly along State Highway 25 uh, before ducking down Golden Valley Road, Trigg Road North and heading along Waihi Beach Road through to the uh, Waihi Beach RSA for a, a welcome break and some refreshments. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of this video this is uh, something of a joint effort. We've been riding for a little while already. We had 21 bikes leaving uh, BP South on the uh, service centre at Papakura. Uh, leaving about 9 o'clock, I think it was, in the morning. Heading down to meet up with our Hog Waikato uh, buddies down in Kopu and Thames. Uh, we had that ride. We rode down through brilliant sunshine, fog, Again, clear sunshine and then a light spattering of rain to Thames, where we met up with the uh, Waikato crew. We had a five, ten minute chat and a break with those guys, and then we, guys and gals, and then we rode from Thames through to Whangamata Wharf over the uh, Coromandel Ranges, and we picked up some decent rain coming over the hills, that's for sure. We got pretty wet, uh, but we did have about 10, 15 minutes of uh, drying out riding time before we did arrive finally at the wharf. Um, we steamed gently there for a little bit uh, before heading off on this uh, final leg of the journey before lunch heading down to uh, Waihi Beach. I mentioned that we met up with the Waikato crew in Thames, which we did, and there were about we picked up about another 16 uh, bikes there. So in total, we're about 37, we're close to 40 uh, bikes making this ride. And you can see we're travelling in at this point pretty nice weather. It's uh, can't complain at all. It's been a little bit of rain over these hills, and we can see it in the distance there. But as luck would have it, we weren't going to get doused twice on this particular. Part of the uh, of the run, and uh, we just managed to travel along some. Well, you know, the road's a little bit wet, a little bit slippery, but uh, no real dramas because we're travelling at a pretty moderate pace anyway. Because the roads are posted with a pretty slow speed limit, big group of riders, so there's no point trying to push anything too hard. We're not there to uh, break any records or anything. We just want to get there safe and well and enjoy the ride along the way and it is quite a picturesque route. Now the road to Waihi from Whangapata is fairly predictable. State Highway 25, it's a nice road, uh, sealed all the way. Uh, they've got a centre line painted all the way, which uh, I always appreciate. It means that the road is at least uh, intending to be made for two-way traffic and is generally going to be in, you know, okay repair. Uh, but if you do want to mix it up a bit, you can take a little side detour. And that's what our road captain did. He mapped out the ride for us so that we uh, took a left a little bit further up ahead down Golden Valley Road. Uh, and that was, again, again, different kind of countryside. Uh, we did have a little bit of close-in bush to the uh, road initially, and then it opened up into, once we got to Trigg Road North, open up into some pretty lovely green pasture land before heading back to uh, finally crossing the hill on the way to uh, Waihi Beach itself. Now, we have got a mix of riders here uh, from both Auckland and Waikato Hog, as I mentioned. And there's pretty much a straight line riding going along here. I mean, the road's twisting, but there's no intersections, apart from up ahead, where we have a corner marking um, situation. But 
some of the riders not usually riding with us didn't pick up that there needed to be a corner marker stopping here. So all of the Auckland guys looked to make the mark, uh, which had been missed by the first couple of riders following the road captain. Uh, Green eventually took the spot to let the other riders behind know, hey look, we've got to turn up here guys and uh, follow along. So, nice job Green mate, all good. I'm really enjoying this Golden Valley Road. It's a beautiful little ride. Um, the roads, are, there's plenty of room in the roads. They're big enough, and there's certainly not a lot of traffic on them, which surprises me because the uh, the views and the scenery around here just, you know, they're amazing. Now, very soon we're going to come across uh, or move from Golden Valley Road. It will kind of morph into Trig Road North. Uh, at which point the landscape will change once again. It becomes kind of a rolling uh, pasture. Very green around here at the moment. Um, if there was a drought earlier in the year, it's certainly been uh, well broken now because the, uh, the water's well and truly here because everything is green as can be in the uh, countryside. It's quite beautiful. So we're getting closer, inching our way closer towards Waihe Beach. starting to get a few autumn colours coming through in the trees or some of the trees around here which is a pleasant surprise don't really get to see too many places like that um, around well where I live anyway and here is the last of the major intersections that we're coming to this one's going to be traveling left and right is Waihe Beach Road turn right to take it to Waihe Township to the left is to Waihe Beach itself as we travel along this road, we are heading towards a small rise that will take us over the top to the uh, outlook of the Pacific Ocean and uh, the Wahi Beach area itself. Just one small obstacle to get past first, that was a, uh, a little bit of roadworks, the council's digging it up here. We're now on the, uh, we move from the Waikato to the uh, Bay of Plenty uh, by the boundary lines. Um, if not already, very, very soon. But um, as we come over the top of the rise here, you'll start to see the sparkling blue of the Pacific Ocean. Out in the distance on the water there is Mea Island. And the next landmass after that is nothing but ocean. Next landmass after that is South America, Chile. So there's a whole lot of nothing out there. Anyway, this is us heading towards the uh, Waihe Beach, coming towards the near the end of the ride. And as we're pulling into the driveway for the Waihe Beach RSA, I just want to shout out appreciation and thanks to everyone that put this ride together, particularly uh, Head Road Captain Dino, who mapped out the ride and organised, got in touch with the uh, Waikato Hog crew to meet all together and between them all made arrangements with the Waihe Beach RSA to look after us for a, for a visit in the afternoon. And that's about where we're going to leave it, so whatever you're doing, hope you're riding safe, take care out there, have fun, see you next week.